Now, your news on the go. Syracuse continues to remember the life of 11-year-old Brexiali Torres Ortiz, known by friends and family as Brexi. The child was caught in the middle of city violence Monday night, killed while walking home from a corner store. Anger and grief can be seen and felt across Syracuse. Many people have been calling for change, others filling churches to pray for a life taken far too soon. Last night, members of Tucker Missionary Baptist Church came together to pray with Brexi's parents. And across the street, there was a prayer circle inside Brexy's home. Police say Brexy was not the intended target of the shooting. They believe a 19-year-old who was shot in the leg was the target. There's no one in custody, but the Onondaga County DA says he's confident this case will result in arrests in the next week. Right now, he says the image quality of police surveillance video is slowing the case down. Remember, if you have any information that can help search for Brexy's killer, you are asked to call Syracuse Police, 315-442-5222. All of your tips can remain anonymous. This morning, we have new information surrounding charges against a Syracuse common counselor. All charges against Amir Gathers will be dropped if he stays out of trouble for one year. Last September, Gathers was arrested and charged with choking his ex-girlfriend. This morning, prosecutors are expected to announce whether charges will be filed in the movie set shooting involving Alec Baldwin, including whether Baldwin himself will be charged. A cinematographer was shot and killed by Baldwin during an accident while he was practicing using a revolver. Questions have surrounded how live ammunition made it onto the set and into the prop gun. Covering New York, the governor's pick for the next top judge has been rejected by the Senate Judiciary Committee. After a five-hour long hearing, the committee voted not to advance Justice Hector LaSalle's name to the full Senate. He was Governor Hochul's pick to become the next Chief Justice on the Court of Appeals, New York's highest court. In Oswego, Mayor Billy Barlow delivering his last State of the City address. He's committing $100,000 to promoting Oswego to future Micron employees moving into the area. He's also dedicating a mental health clinician to work out of the Oswego Police Department and create a neighborhood outreach and response team. Paving a million dollars worth of city streets also on his agenda. Highlights from his State of the City are on localSYR.com. Staying in Oswego, lawmakers have voted on a large settlement with one of the nation's biggest generic opioid manufacturers. This special meeting was to consider and accept nearly a million dollars over 18 years from Teva Pharmaceutical, including about $90,000 this year. The county was suing several manufacturers over opioids and chain pharmacies because of the public health crisis created by opioid abuse. Well, cranes are in place to lift a 68,000 pound JMA sign onto the top of the dome. The sign has to be delivered to the hill in pieces because the pieces are so big. The sign may start going up tomorrow, but definitely by next week. JMA Wireless was granted a 10-year naming rights deal for the famed arena last May.